it is Southampton nil, Manchester United three, Manchester United collecting three points with a three nil whitewash. A good start to our weekend for this lunchtime kickoff against the Saints yesterday. The Saints was never gonna go marching in, in, in or on, on, on. We didn't do that, bruv. We marched onto you. The Saints go marching in. And when the Saints go, hell to the no, Manchester United is the one that came marching in into your house. And again, Manchester United continued their undefeated run against Southampton at their stadium at St. Mary's, whatever they call themselves, uh, whatever that stadium is. No disrespect. But Manchester United collecting that three points, performances, solid performance from Matthias De Ligt himself, the next captain of our football club. And it was a good performance overall throughout the whole 90 minutes. It didn't start off well. It didn't start off well in the first 11 minutes. But for some reason, we found a way and grew into this game. Even though our defense changed toward the end of the game, you know, four changes to our defense from the what we started from, hoping that the injuries are not too serious. But overall, happy to get three points. I went for 2 0, but Manchester United win 3 0. Good game, good setup as well. We, we, we dominated once we got to the latter stages of the game throughout. And of course, we was clinical, and that's what we wanted. We cried for, can you be clinical today against Southampton? Because it's going to be a, it could be a difficult game today. But it was a, it turned out to be an easy game for Manchester United. How wonderful to get three points out of what twelve, um, out of twelve, six points out of twelve. We're going to go up in the league, hopefully, depending on the results. Hopefully, we can end up on page one of the Premier League. But my God, my God, my God. Let's talk about this game because overall today, if you look at the first, first, first minute, it was a good half towards the end of the half because, the, like I said before, the first 11 minutes, Southampton was the one that looked at the better team. They were the one that had the ball and we were running, when are we going to get into the game and start, you know, controlling? And we did eventually. But first of all, we have to talk about the penalty we conceded because, Dano, what are you doing? Lunging in against like that to, to Diblin. Diblin took the piss out of him. He dibbled the crap out of him, Diblin. And got through and, of course, sliding in. It looked like it was on the line, but it wasn't. But Dalo, sheer mistake. And I have to give hats up to Andre Onana because that save was really crucial. Because if we didn't, Onana didn't save that penalty, we would be looking at a different game, I'll be honest with you. From there, Manchester United kicked on. And the first goal came in. Happens to be... The next captain of Manchester United in that defence of ours, the lip from a very good cross from Bruno Fernandes to pick him out and heads it in and starts us off on the march for Manchester United to keep going, to keep marching on, on, on. The second goal, Marcus Trashford, you know, Rash Banaku finally got his goal after 15 games, you know. And and let's not get twisted, guys. Let's not get ourselves misconstrued. That guy will end up performing for an underperforming for the next 10 games. I don't believe Marcus Rush will score another goal the next game and continue and kick it on because we've been here before. We have been here before with Marcus Rashford. He gets a goal and then he stops scoring for the next four or five games. You know, I will still drop him in the next game in the Europa League and start Ganacho. But Rashford getting that goal, the strike outside the box, and Ramsdale, poof, got Ramsdale! He didn't know what he was doing. He wasn't concentrating Ramsdale, wasn't it, Aaron? But conceding, sneaking through as well from a long shot outside the box as well. And it was 2 0 at half time for Manchester United. It was looking good. And was thinking, can we continue to go on and get another goal? Because we need another goal. We need to rectify that goal difference because we was on a minus on goal difference. Hopefully, it should be looking slightly a bit better. Then, second half, Manchester United, as we continue to persevere, a red card was shown to Southampton when Stewart came on who got sent off sadly but it's good for Manchester United good for us we was happy with, the, with that record which was justified the foul on Alejandro Garnacho. then Manchester United continued to persevere Ahmed Diallo gives it to Dallo Dallo low cross finds the back of Alejandro Garnacho to tap it in and finish it off really well clinical Manchester United were and it was great to see that Manchester United got their three points because it's going to be tricky it really going to be tricky and but we got there towards the end. Um, got to big up the players as well um, for their performance because they did really well. Um, Ganacho as well to come on to get the goal, to seal it off, to be clinical. 
I, I salute that. And I'm so happy to get three points. We've got six points now. Can we do something in the next couple of games? You know, we've got some tricky games. In terms of players, um, uh, we go to the players because we look at Andre Onana, who's made a crucial save. And that save was crucial. That penalty was crucial because, again, I keep saying, if Andre Onana didn't make that save, we'll be looking at a very different game. Bruno Fernandes had a very good game throughout the first half, especially he was wonderful. He didn't make that much rash decision. He didn't spam the balls. He was connecting. He was passing. He got his assist as well. And he had a great game. He really did have a great game. But that guy, Matthias De Ligt. Oh, what a solid performance from Matthias De Ligt in, in defense as well. Um, of course, organizing the defense, leading the passing as well, making crucial blocks. He did get done up as well at one time against Kyle Walker Peters. But he let that go and he grew into the game and was much more solid throughout. Ahmed Diallo, mwah, class. Just the technique on that boy, the, the intelligence. Ah, I hope you continue your good performance, Ahmed Diallo, because I love you, bro. No homo, no diddy. Rashford. Rashford had the mixed game. He got the goal. There were times he did some good things, and there were times he did some bad things. But I hope you improve on the next game. Sexy class today, dropping deep, getting balls and spreading around, getting himself involved, getting stuck in, making sure that he's a threat, being that middleman. He could have got a goal as well, but he unfortunately didn't when um, he was slitting with a pass and he tried to get stick a feet in, but he just never got there. But it's a good game. And the manager, in terms of setting up the team, done well. He done well. Ericsson, I have to big him up because he done a, he had a good game as well. He came into that side. We all thought Manuel Ugarte will start or, 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 or Casemiro will start, you know. But Ericsson coming in, did what he had to do. Had a good game. Man, the match today has to go to Matthias De Ligt. My captain in defence. Bruno is our captain, but my captain in defence that organised that defence delay. And I think it will be a great, great signing for us. He will come strong. You know? He's just getting his match with him up. Um, he had to have the pre-season. So I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to more match delay, you know. But, but in today's game, I have to say, Manchester United fans, let's not get ourselves carried away. Do not get yourself carried away. Let's just take it game by game by game and see where this team can get as far as they can. With the injuries, slight injuries, slight knocks in our defence because we started with a we started and ended with a complete different defence. I hope the lit cramp. Matches, I mean, Martinez, probably a knock. Maserari, probably a little knock or cramp. You know, um, them guys, I don't think they've had the, the preseason that they needed. And then, of course, we saw Maguire limping a little bit. But hopefully they'll be all right for Thursday's Europa League game. But it is what it is, man. I'm happy today, um, you Manchester United fans, Manchester United holics. You guys let me know who you think your man of the match. Even if you have a donkey of the match, because I don't really have a donkey of the match, you know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Um, what did you think of today's game? What did you think of Matthias De Ligt? Was it a good game for Matthias De Ligt? Good goal as well. Marcus Rashford, can you trust him to continue his performance, to continue and score some more goals throughout the next couple of matches? You guys, you guys let me know. And remember, Monday, 8 p.m. UK time, to catch up with the guys. We're going to discuss the match. We're going to break it down. Next week, Thursday, we're live for the Europa game. And of course, the weekend, the Premier League. But it is what it is. This has been your match reaction from your boy Avro and Spice. <laughs> Enjoy. Will Match United continue their performance? We'll find out. Peace.